When it comes to increasing the performance of your Performance Max campaigns, yes, you can do some optimizations, but right at the start of this video, while I am gonna show you the optimization options that you do have available for Performance Max campaigns, you do need to really understand that your account structure, so the other campaigns that you've got running inside of your account, the settings that you're using, and your conversion data and your audience data is nearly as important. In fact, many would argue, including me, that it's even more important than any optimizations that you made inside of your Performance Max campaign. And the reason for that is because Performance Max is a newer type of Google Ads campaigns that relies heavily on Google's AI learning and automation in order for you to see results. I want you to think of it like this, and this is gonna be one for all of you Marvel fans out there, that a traditional search and shopping campaign is more like Hawkeye, in terms that you can really, really use high level precision to in order to get those results. But when it comes to your Performance Max campaigns, it's pretty much like the Hulk, where he's just smashing everything everywhere to try and get the same result. And that's why for many, many businesses, I actually recommend for Performance Max to become a secondary campaign. And what I mean by that is that you don't start to use Performance Max until you're already seeing good levels of results in your search campaigns. And if you're an e-commerce brand, that would mean search and a combination of your shopping campaigns. Because what you're gonna be doing at the start of your Google Ads journey is that you're really gonna be focusing on those search or search and shopping campaigns to really, really optimize and find out what keywords are converting, what ad copies convert, what landing pages convert, you know, for the e-commerce brand, what products are working best, you know, making sure that your offer is working, so that you've got all of those things that are working right. Because remember, for Performance Max, it takes that conversion data, finds out what's converting, and then tries to find more conversions that are similar to those current conversions. But if you don't already have that data in there, it doesn't really know exactly what to do. So while this is definitely a video on about how to optimize your Performance Max campaigns, and we're gonna jump into a screen share so I can walk you through how to increase the performance of your Performance Max campaigns, it's really, really important to remember that we don't have the same level of targeting options that we do have for like a search or a shopping campaign. So with all that said, we're gonna jump into a screen share, but before we do, if you do need some extra help with your Google Ads campaigns, that's why we created Define Digital Academy to help business owners like you use Google to grow their own businesses, just like I used Google to grow my own business. And if you'd like some extra help, it would be an absolute pleasure to help you on your Google Ads journey. If you follow the link in the description below, you'll see a little text which says, how can we help you? And that takes you through to a quick 90 second survey. and lets us know a little bit about where you are with your Google Ads journey right now, so that we can then get in contact with you and let you know the best way that you can help you, whether it be one of our courses, paid communities, or even our newly launched coaching options. So for all that information, just follow that link in the description below. And as promised, let's now jump into that screen share so I can walk you through the optimization options that you've got for Performance Max in 2025. I am gonna take you through firstly, a uh, quick look at the results inside of a lead gen Performance Max campaign. We'll then look at some optimization options there. We'll then also jump over to an e-commerce brand with their Performance Max campaign. But I do also wanna point out when it comes to optimizing your Performance Max campaigns, there are four main areas that you can focus on. Firstly, your spending and segmentation, your targeting, your ads and landing pages, and your bidding. And this is what we call the STAB method. With the spending and segmentation is all about really getting into control controlling where Google Ads is spending. So different keyword themes or different products. Your targeting is all about the keywords that are triggering your ads and also what audiences, demographics, locations, and devices are seeing your ads. Then your ads and landing pages, as of hopefully that speaks for itself. And then obviously your smart bidding options. This optimization checklist is a free tool which you can use. I'm gonna be showing you through it for Performance Max, but it's also for a search, shopping, demand gen, display, and video campaigns. And if you wanna get access to this optimization checklist, just follow that link in the description below. All right. Alrighty, let's now jump into a Performance Max campaign. So what I wanna show you in through here, this is a lead generation campaign. And you can see for this Performance Max campaign, we have been able to be fairly steady in their spend. So, you know, they've been spending about $6,000 a month. It's also important to note that we increased the spend in their search campaigns. I actually showed an example of what we did to optimize this account on a search video. If you stick around to the end, I'll show you how you can access that one. But what we have done over the year is you can actually see that we've been able to drop down that cost per conversion and we've been able to get it down into the 80. So when it started, it was 98, closing to 100. Sometimes it went above that 100 mark. And as you can see, we've been really, really consistent getting it slightly down into those lower 80s, which is where this client needed those results. But the one thing I do want to show you in through here as well is if we jump into the change history, you're looking at 13 months of data here. You can actually see that there's not that many changes that we have actually gone through and completed. Most of the changes that we did do, it was in and around changing some different assets, so different ad copies. And another main change that we actually did was that we 
we actually went through and added a whole heap of URLs, which were just not generating really, really good results. So that's the one thing you do need to remember with a Performance Max campaign is that with a Performance Max campaign, if you don't set it up correctly, it will target everything on your website. So by going through and adding in those negative URLs, what that's done is that that's where we're going through and we're going in through the targeting and we're limiting the areas that Google is using. So that's a big optimization action that you can go through and do. The way that you go through and do that is that when you're in your individual Performance Max campaign, you can go into the campaigns. If you did want to go through and see the landing page and see the results, if you go into the search bar, I've just typed in landing page. You can go in through here and it's got a predefined report. And what we've done here is we've filtered the standby costs and if we're seeing any landing pages that are getting recommended and using, which are not giving us those conversion value results, we then take a note of those URLs and then we add them as exclusions. And if you want to go through and add in those exclusions, where you need to go into is you need to go into your campaign settings. Then when you're in campaign settings, at at the moment, it is in this section under asset optimization. Then if you go under text, you can see in through here, we've gone through and added in some URL exclusions. Once again, you wanna make sure that you've got the data first right. Once we saw that data that Google was spending and it was really going into some blog pages and some different pages, we added those as exclusions so that we're not seeing that spend happening on those low performing pages anymore. The other thing that we did go through and do is you could see in through here is that we had some different asset groups that were running and we you can see from here is that we actually went through and paused some of these asset groups that weren't getting any results. And what we did with this one is that we really did look at some different keyword themes that were really relative to each other. And what we found is that these top ones were the only ones that were performing. So that's why we paused these other ones that were not performing. If you want to see this data, you just go into the table section and then you can add in the extra columns and it gives you all the different data via the different conversion rates. That's some of the optimization options that you've got. Obviously we've got bidding options, but I'm not going to get there yet. I want to now move over to a, this is still in Performance Max, but we're moving over into a e-commerce brand. With this one, what we had in through here is that this e-commerce brand had over 25,000 different products. What we ended up doing in through here, and you can see that we've been able to take the spend from up to, in, at the start of this year, they were only spending about $4,000 a week. And we've been able to get this up to, you know, it peaked at 15, but in and around above that 10,000. So we've doubled it while maintaining their conversion rate and while maintaining their their ROAS. For this business, they needed it above a 600. So we've been able to really go through and start increasing this. What we've done through here is that a common thread that you see really, really often within Performance Max is that they'll get a lot of products which we call sidekick products or zombie products. Now, what a sidekick product is, it's a product that is getting some level of spend and it's getting really good conversions, but it's just not getting much spend at all. So if you can see through and through here, we have got these product categories in through here. They're getting a high level of conversions, really, really healthy conversion value cost, but you can see the spend levels are really, really low. So what we did is we broke that out into a separate campaign, set out our list groups so that we can then force more spend on these product categories. So that's what you'd call a sidekick. A zombie is a product which we just don't have any spend at all. And we can go through the same process. And the way that we did that is, let me just show you in through here. I've had to blur out these campaign names, but what we've got in through here is we've now got three different Performance Max campaigns. And what these ones are working on is that these are working on different categories within our account. So as you can see in through here, previous categories that we weren't getting any spend on. This is a new one in through here, and this is a new one. So these two are two new Performance Max campaigns that we launched over the last 30 days. We've been able to spend, you know, close to $16,000 into product categories that, as I showed you before, were only getting $200 or $300 or even $1,000 to spend every month. We've been able to vastly increase that and while still maintaining these ROAS levels. So that's a good option that you've got in regards to your Performance Max campaigns. Now, I do also want to show you in through here with your ad copies. I do want to stress with Performance Max though, that while I am showing you, if you go into your asset groups and you go into your view details, what you can actually see is you can see this data, which Google is now starting to give you, where you can actually see the, you know, the conversion data, the CPC data, all at the asset group level. We've also got some different spreadsheets that we use that allow us to really work with the client into do some testing for some different headlines. You can also see the data, you know, which one is giving you the best click-through ratio, but the best conversion rates and you can go through and make the changes over here. I do really, really need to stress that Performance Max, it does actually create its own headlines. So yes, you can go through and edit out some of those headlines. We are seeing minimal data, but with Performance Max, as I said, 
the greatest change that you'll see with the performance of your Performance Max campaigns is really making sure that you're, you've structured your Performance Max campaigns right so that you're getting that spend to the areas that we previously wasn't seeing any spending. When it comes to our Performance Max campaigns, there's two real structures that we're basically using. For larger e-commerce stores, we're really going through and adding in some different Performance Max campaigns to really target whole product categories. And if you've got a store or if you've got a lead generation business, we're really using Performance Max to really go through and target new customers. And the way that we go through and do that is we set it to only bid on new customers. We add in brand exclusions. So we're really making sure that our Performance Max campaign is targeting different traffic to our search and or our shopping campaigns. If you want to find out more about that, very, very soon I'm going to show you where you can see that strategy and the structure that we've got there. But as I said, for Performance Max, remembering that it is a campaign type that heavily uses Google's automated bidding. It's very much about getting that campaign structure right and really getting the money to be spent on the areas that it wanted to be spent on. Also remembering that Performance Max is very much a secondary campaign that you don't want to be engaging it until you're really, really comfortable with the results you're seeing inside of your search or your search and your shopping campaigns. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy. Remember, if you need extra help with your Google Ads campaigns, Follow that link in the description below so you can go through and complete that how can we help you questionnaire. If you want to see more about the account structures that we're using, Performance Max campaign, why don't you go through and watch this video right here. I also did mention about how you can optimize your search campaigns throughout that screen share. If you wanted to watch that video, go watch it right here. Thank you again. See you next time.